Everybody's from somewhere, and every somewhere has something indigenous, and I think it's important for us to look and pay homage to some of those great things. In Louisiana cooking, it's always been something that I was like, I gotta learn how these people are making these things. Jambalaya is basically just ham and chicken. I put shrimp in it. Definitely on Dewey sausage. I put two sticks of butter, of course. After the veggies, and I throw the sausage in there and let it cook down a little bit too. And people fix it different ways, they put different things in it, but it's always good. Nirvana. Such as New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying everybody does it differently. So what is it that makes yours your Well, what makes mine so good is a secret. I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> each little town, each little, each mother has a different way of doing it. And we all cook the way that our mothers So how did your mother cook? So let me so show you how she did it. First you have to start with the pot, preferably a good cast iron pot. You have to use a little bit of pork fat. <laughs> and you probably just want you, well, this is rendered, this is just rendered, rendered bacon fat. fat. Okay. I think the reason why grandmother's food tastes so good is because she used nothing but bacon right. fat as the base of all these great things. So you just melt that down. We have it on high heat. What I want to do here is I want to brown my onion. You just want to stay on top of them at this minute, and I'll show you. What's going to happen is that we're evaporating all the moisture out. We're right. cooking them, you know, the chef term is you know, we're sweating the onions. Nothing more than cooking the onions right. and then the lard on. Um, what about you know somebody in Seattle? And, and so you're like how how do you how do you cook how do they cook this dish? Get a great piece of bacon mm -hmm. and some onions, and it's still it's on high still heat. High oh yeah, and the key here it's is just to key. keep that. stirring. That's right. It's starting to brown, brother. So now we're just dropping in a little bit of fresh pork sausage. This could be anything from just fresh bratwurst to uh, you name it. It, it. it could be beef sausage, like I said, it's starting to brown. It's cooking very aggressive. You just want to, that foam, that, that, that browning in the bottom of the pan, well, that's what will really that's set flavor, this one apart, right? yeah. Now, this is the building block of the entire jambalaya right there. So I grew up in a family of 11. So nine kids, Holy like two smokes. parents, and I, you know, like you were talking about, I cook with my mom all the time. Watching her, it's how I learned how to cook. But now I only know how to cook for twelve people. How do you adjust the recipe like jambalaya? Yeah, jambalaya or, is one of those things that you're not cooking you don't it cook for, for two, right? For two portions. What, but what you do is you invite people. You invite people. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just add celery and bell pepper. Uh -huh. One fell swoop, and we're done. <laughs> Smells so nice. <laughs> And so if I let this go just a little bit, um, it's just going to burn. And so that's why I'm adamant about stirring. stirring. I'm going to add my rice. A lot of times, and this is just uh, Louisiana, actually Louisiana jasmine rice that I'm using here today. And here, it's important to toast the rice. And so I'm cooking it, I'm stirring it. It's coated right now with all that beautiful bacon fat. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to it. The sandouille sausage has got a good bite. I'll take a little bit of smoked paprika. And um, because I'm from the New Orleans area, right. I've gotta add a little bit of tomato. A little touch of salt and some black pepper. And now this is my leftover right pork shoulder. And I've just diced it up. It could be chunks. It's a meaty jambalaya. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn it down to medium low. Put a lid on it. Once the rice opens up, we're done. Okay. It's, it's absorbing all the sweet flavors mm -hmm. of the onion and the, the garlicky and spices of the andouille sausage. It's taking in. Um, the smokiness of all the uh, bacon that we had. And so that rice is just being perfumed with all these flavors, really playing a supporting role to all the meats that are in it. Woo! Man, this is gonna be good. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>